this year is entitled The Beauty of Aging. Just uh, yesterday, I saw an old colleague of mine from Rappaport about Israel. We talked together. He said, Shalom Aleichem, Chag Sameach. In a few seconds, he looked at me and looked at me and said, Ah, Rav Dani, Mashlomcha. I said, Ah, the white beard. Couldn't know who I was. And uh, I remember about 20 years ago, first time during the uh, three weeks, when I saw a little bit of white in my beard, I was shocked. I was in very good shape. I was young. I played ball against all my students at the Ramba. I jogged with them. And, and uh, I just think, what's going on? What's with this white? Somehow, on some kind of a rational level, I thought, I'm going to have a white beard or white hair. It was so shocking to me. And of course, we all know that everyone eventually has white. And the fact is, Hashem builds it into nature. It is part of nature. That we don't simply physically age, but it is evident and it is apparent. The aging process for each person is different. This one might be balding early than another one. This one may be getting whiter than another one. This one may be getting more wrinkles than another one. But God built it into the nature, the laws of nature, that the aging process is evident. It is belated. It is clear. Now, of course, there's different ways for one to deal with this. A person can go ahead and somehow deny it. He could put black in the hair. He could go ahead and she could go ahead and somehow have ways to fix up all the wrinkles. And when the body gets a little bit fatter, even if the person keeps in shape, it takes a lot more to have that same muscle mass as it did earlier on. Muscles weaken, there's just more fat. So you just keep working out more and more and more to make sure that the man still has his six pack and still shows all his muscles. And somehow you can just deny the aging process. That's one approach. The other approach is to, of course, stay healthy, but to embrace the aging process. God sent it into the laws of nature for a very good reason. We don't always know God's ways, but it could be that Hashem very much wants us to embrace our aging process and ultimately embrace our mortality and understand that that's very much part of our life. We're here for a few precious years. We should have a perspective of what our position in the universe is to understand just a small, small piece. Yes, we can make a great contribution to the world, to mankind, to our community, to our family, to ourselves. Yes, we can, but never in an arrogant way where we somehow feel I'm real forever. I'm going to live forever. We're mortal. And that death is an inescapable part of this existence. And when we understand that reality clearly, there's so many ways that we could grow from it in terms of our gapa, our arrogance when the Rambam says that's the number one challenge is to work on gapa, on arrogance. And that begins with understanding our place in the universe, understanding our reality. And it could be that a person understands this who will focus so much more on his spiritual growth. It's not going to focus on the money and the homes and the cars. and For what? I'm just here a small time. But the person doesn't have this perspective, then somehow I need all the money. I'm going to be around forever. It can also be with this healthy attitude. person has a fight, an issue against another person, a neighbor, a friend, a family. So when he's really important, then well, he's going to be around forever, at least on some kind of a rational level of feeling. This is important. It's a serious matter. The person has a perspective. Then, okay. I'm working out. You, know, you shouldn't have a fight with another person. You have to make shalom and try to bring peace. But it's different. It's different. The person sees himself as he truly is. In terms of the mortality, he should have a different focus on his spirituality, as well as the physical. He should be able to work things out better when things go on day to day. And see, these things should not affect him the way it would another person. 
as your millimeter, which is a different factor totally. So those are some things that I think Hashem has implanted in human nature, the aging process, so that we can go ahead and have a healthy perspective. And once we have that, then we can finish off Tzadik Katamayifra. A tzaddik is going to sprout like a palm tree, like a big cedar tree in Lebanon. Lebanon. He's planted in the great Hashem. Even when he's getting old, he's alive. He's full of energy. It's a good, healthy energy, an energy of a person searching God, searching, seeking, and spirituality. That kind of energy doesn't necessarily wane. Although age on the country, it gets stronger and stronger. It's a Shem, which will be so privileged to live that Pasuk that we see every Shabbat. Shalom.